one question. The engine is running, no guys? Immediately the engine starts, I remove this finger. Normally, the recommendation is 10 seconds later, remove this. Why that recommendation? In the majority of the service manual, they say, press, preheat, and start. When the engine starts, remove the start button and continue with preheat other 10 seconds, and after that, remove that. Ah, excuse me, pay attention. The engine starts, I remove this finger, and the engine continues running. If I remove this one, ba -ba 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 -ba, stop. Why? Because I need that uh, this power entering in the transfer pump and the solenoid of the fuel injection pump continue activated. In other words, ah, because I remove this finger, I eliminate this. And the run relay once again open, and I don't have power here, and don't have power here, and the engine stops. Ah. I need an other input of current here in this point, other input of current that uh, when I remove preheat, the other input enter and continue supplying power over there. Where should be coming that power? From the alternator. From the alternator is orange, but my orange, okay, my orange right now is better. It's coming from the output of the alternator, orange cable, orange cable, that output of the, how much is the output of the alternator when the alternator is running? If, if the boat, if the engine is 12 volts, is 13.7, 14.2. You remember? Yeah. Ah, okay. Why I need weight with this button press 10 seconds? Because I need weight a little until the alternator produce power. Ah, when the alternator is producing, I remove this finger and this current enter in this relay and the relay continue running. Bingo, right now, I remove both fingers in my engine continue running. I have a question, guys. This is the output of the alternator. The big positive, the positive output of the alternator. What happened at the beginning of the process when I press preheat? When I press preheat, I bring power here and the power go here and enter over there. It's good idea introduce power in the stator when the alternator is off. No. Oh, oh, pay attention. At the same time that you activate preheat, you bring power here in the excitation of the alternator. You remember? But uh, it's not good idea bring power here in the output because you damage the coil. Ah, this is why you need install one diode in the output of the alternator in the orange cable to avoid that the current enter here. The current goes out, but never return, and you protect the alternator. Everybody follow me, guys? Ah, perfect, perfect. I have a start, the engine is cranking, the engine is running, and now I need a stop. I need a stop. Look at this. I am going to create this situation. This cable, the purple cable, I am going to move it, that cable and enter that cable in position 30. And after that, continue from the output 87. Ah, nice. Excuse me, but uh, this is normally open. I need power to close that. Okay. I am going to bring this power. You remember this power, constant power, guys? and I am going to bring that power here all the time. In other words, this relay is always powered and you have continuity between this point and this point. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, excuse me, what happened when I press stop? Guys, here, open this one and I interrupt the current here and this relay open again and no fuel pump and no solenoid and stop. Oh, nice. Now my engine is running perfect. Okay guys, now in, a, in this uh, second part of, uh, of the explanation, we are going to connect the tachometer, the oil pressure gauge, the temperature gauge, the fuel pressure gauge, and the hour meter, the hour meter. Uh, that's the last part of the, of the system. 
Okay, we are going to start with the tachometer. The tachometer normally they have a ignition, ground, and signal, and each each gauge they have three terminals: ignition, ground, signal, ignition, ground, signal, ignition, ground, signal. The hour meter they have two terminals: positive and negative. Yeah. The tachometer they have signal, ground, ignition. Here another one for for uh, four cylinders, for six cylinders for eight cylinders, the pulses, you remember? Uh, of course, they have a, one uh, light bulb, no? The light bulb here, uh, but uh, this, is, this is a simple connection for the light bulb. Okay, uh, we are going to do the connection uh, of the alternator. The alternator, the positive output, will be connected here with run relay. Of course, from the positive output, is another cable going into the ACR. You remember the wiring, the DC wiring that uh, we did in, in uh, basic electricity? Yeah, that, that one entered into the ACR. And uh, this is excitation, yeah. it's purple. Here is the ground, and this is an AC output. Remember that the alternator inside, in the first stage, produced AC current. AC current, I have an AC current here. That, that that signal, AC current, is used for what? What purpose? This is the signal of the tachometer. This is the signal, this is the signal, this is the signal for the tachometer. Ooh. In this type of tachometers, analog tachometers, uh, what is the color of this signal? Gray <laughs> color. It's gray color. Once again, my friend, remember, I recommend here, here you create Ignition bus bar. Okay, and from the ignition bus bar, you fit the tachometer. From the ignition bus bar, you fit the oil pressure gauge. You fill the temperature gauge, and you fill the fuel gauge. This is this is positive. This is positive coming in. This is the signal coming from the ignition switch. Okay, and ground is ground, guys. Excuse me, one second. Ground. Ground, ground, and ground. Uh, and now we are going to, now we are going to bring the signals. Ah, uh, okay. This is the oil pressure gauge. The oil pressure gauge in this particular case. Ah, uh, this is the oil pressure, oil pressure, oil pressure sensor. And what is this? Cool and temperature sensor. And uh, what about this? This is the flow switch. The flow switch. One terminal is ground, and the other terminal is the signal. Okay. In the oil pressure sensor, 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 what is the color of the signal? Blue, light blue, light blue. Light blue, light blue, light blue here. Okay. In the coolant temperature sensor, what is the color in temperature? Tan. Tan, tan. And uh, in fuel, what is the color of the Pink. cable for the signal? Pink. Pink. Okay. And now, guys, now is connected oil pressure sensor, temperature sensor, fuel level sensor with the gauge. The gauge, the gauge. Okay. We need to connect an other gauge, the hour meter, to measure the amount of hours that the engine is running. The negative is to the negative bus bar exactly the same. What about the positive? Where should be coming that positive, guys? Excuse me? Alternator. Yes, from the alternator. Some people say from ignition, from preheat. No. No, correct. From the alternator. Okay, I have another cable here. 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 Or coming from the, from the output, positive of an alternator. Okay, this is output, and this is output. Perfect, and now my harness is complete. Excuse me, I need to install a couple of kill switches. Can you remember? Yeah. Oil pressure switch to kill the engine when the oil pressure goes down. And the other one? 
coolant temperature switch. Okay, excuse me. Oil pressure switch and oil pressure sensor. Ah, coolant temperature switch and coolant temperature sensor. Uh, okay, where are located the switches? For example, the oil pressure Zero sensor is located where? Sure. You remember the oil filter in that bracket, the sensor, and in other hole, the switch. Yeah. The sensor and switch. The and uh, the same with the temperature. In the thermostat housing, you have one hole for the sensor and other hole for the switch. switch. Okay. What type of switch is that switch? The Normally. oil pressure switch and coolant temperature switch. Normally closed. Normally closed. They open when the oil pressure goes down or when the temperature passes the limit. Ah, okay. It's normally closed. Okay. What cable I want to interrupt to kill the engine? Purple. Purple. Okay, simple. I am going to install here the coolant temperature switch and I am going to install here the oil pressure switch. In series, in the purple cable. Ah, what happened when this switch opened? No power here, no power here, and the engine stopped. What happened when this switch opened? No power here, and no power here. Bingo, finito. My harness is complete.